How's it going everybody? This is Some Nerdy Guy back again with another unboxing video because what else am I going to do on this channel? So this particular thing, this is just one box, but it's a package that I've been waiting for since the end of last year. I believe it was like November, December is when I ordered it and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and got a couple updates but they were kind of vague updates and then it finally just shipped and it arrived at my house and this is from uh strictly limited games and it's quite a decent sized box not huge but i mean comparatively to my head i'm eh, it's a pretty big box it's pretty big um only one thing inside of it and i have my scissors instead of my box cutter and we're just gonna crack this thing right open because I can't wait any longer. <laughs> uh, I always try to like do it on the camera, but it's kind of hard. I just gotta get better at editing, I guess. I don't really do a whole lot of that. So, whoa, okay. This is awesome. It's kind of weird how they boxed it. Hopefully it didn't show what it was. I don't think it did. Okay, so here's the little Strictly Limited Games stickers on there. And it's kind of cool. Uh, for those of you who probably picked one of these up, you probably know exactly what this is just based on what the box looks like. But it is Darius, or Darius, however you want to pronounce it. Right here, the Darius Cosmic Collection. It's, I can't wait for this. Okay. Let me cut these little stickers because I want to crack this thing right open. And most people that collect these like limited run, strictly limited type things are like, I can't believe you opened the box. I can't believe it. You got to keep those things sealed. It's like, I get it. Like there's value there. I understand. But at the same time, it's a video game. Video games are meant to be played. So... I mean, I know there's other goodies inside here, but I don't know. I just think you should... I mean, there's some games that I have kept sealed, but most of every single thing I own is... Oh, sorry, this is so cool. Uh, okay, so it comes in this box, inside of this big old box. Oh, man, there's more. Is there more on the bottom? This thing's heavy. What the... Oh, wait, they just, oh, okay, so these are the arcade decals, the arcade stickers. That's so cool. They got like the Japanese writing on them, just like how you would see in the arcades in Japan. And then, well, yeah, that would be the marquee, I think. And then this, well, maybe not. I don't know where that would go. But then these are like the button layouts, so you know how to control the game learning all the buttons and everything. Wow, that's super cool. I don't know if those really focused that well. This camera is kind of crappy, but that's okay. And then Darius 1, 2, and Gaiden. So cool. And then this, this is amazing. This is the kind of stuff I always look forward to. This is an art book, all concept art interviews with like the developers of the game it seems the creator oh there's even a comic strip in here that is so cool only disappointing thing that i'm seeing here which i guess it's more of like a history rather than an art book but it's all black and white there's no color <laughs> there's except for like the first couple pages right here like they have some layouts of the concept art and decals and how the arcade machine was built and all that but the whole all the rest of it's all in black and white mainly text but that's okay it's still cool and now this take that cover off how do i open this i don't want to ruin anything ah okay so it just slides off of there oh okay so here's here are the pins Kind of rattling around in there. There's a Darius. Darius Cosmic Collection one. 
or Darius. I don't know how anybody else pronounces it. I just say Darius. And then this one is, uh, I can't even pronounce that. Shagai, Shagai. I'm guessing that's like the Japanese, the actual Japanese name for it. I don't, I'm not super knowledgeable on that part. Uh, and then these are the art cards. These are actually really well made. They're like really thick plastic. They're not on cardstock or anything. But it's got this like, this film on top. And it makes it, looks like, makes it look like the cards are scratched. You can't really tell on camera. But up close it just looks like it's scratched to hell. But it's just a protective film on it. So that doesn't actually happen to the, the actual cards. So that is really neat. I like that a lot. Look at the art on these things. That's so cool. And this is the last one here. And then we get... Oh, that's right. There's two of them. These covers are kind of interesting, I guess. It's just like random scenery in Japan. And then they have like the tiniest little box that has the Darius artwork in it. Uh, I think that... That's a little strange to me, but, uh, I mean, the music's still there, so that's still cool, nonetheless. Um, I definitely, this is, besides, like, an art book, this is my favorite thing to get in any collector's edition of a game ever, is to have soundtracks of the music. I just, as my thing, especially with Nintendo stuff, not only because I'm a fanboy, but I just feel like they don't do it as often, so when you get one, it's, I don't know. It would have been nice to have one in the Mario All-Stars uh, game, but we didn't get anything like that. Um, okay, yeah, that's right. So, there's two versions of the game. There's two copies in here. And one of them is, like, embedded inside the box. The box is actually really well made. And it's got, like, all the different... I'm guessing those are the ship models. Oh, no, it's all... It, each game. So, it's, like, all... So, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So, both of these games... This one is the arcade, so it's every arcade version of Darius, and then this is all the console versions of Darius, or Darius, I want to pronounce it, I didn't mean to throw that, okay, uh, yeah, we got Darius 2, I don't know how to pronounce that, Segaia, Segaia, is that how you pronounce that, I think that's how, that sounds right, Segaia, uh, Darius Twin, Darius Force, Darius Alpha, and Darius Plus, I, Darius Alpha, that's the one that was on the PC Engine, right? The super rare, expensive, nobody can afford it one that you had to like send away in the mail to even get a copy of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that one is. I want to play that one because there is no way in hell I'm affording an actual copy of that. So that is super neat. Um, and it looks like, okay, so the first Darius, there's the original, new, and then an extra version of it. So... Uh, it'd be kind of cool to just like look and tell the different, see the little differences in each version. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really liking this. I'm really happy with these. Let's see if there's anything on the on the inside of the of the game here. And just get the plastic off. Let's see if we get that. Open it up. Okay, so there's really not much going on on the inside, but. The artwork is still super cool. I, I really enjoy that a lot. Um, man, there's like little bits of the saran wrap, the plastic wrap, just kind of clinging on for dear life on here. So there's that one. And then this one. I don't know. I, I think all this stuff is cool. If you don't and you want to keep it sealed and never get to actually look at it, then sorry for your loss. Because, like, you kind of, I don't know. Like... I do and I don't understand the sealed, collect, sealed collecting thing. Like I get it because value wise and some games like they get really low print runs. So some people will buy one copy because they do want to play the game and then another one for collecting purposes and whatnot. And I guess that's okay. But I don't know if you're collecting games strictly just to have them all in their box and you just look at them. Granted, I don't play every single game I buy. I'm guilty of that. I buy so many games and I only play like a handful at a time. But I eventually get around to playing all of them. I don't know. I think it's 
having the ability to play them rather than just have them sit in a box, especially like a box like this. If you don't even open this part and you just have cardboard that has the Darius logo on it, like that's so boring. Why don't you want to open it and look at all the goodies inside, you know? And this one again, not like anything too much going on, just the same artwork that we saw, that I saw in some of these cards here, but still really cool I mean it would have been nice to have like a little booklet or something like that but no I'm I'm super happy with this I can't I can't wait but uh, I'm a little busy playing the Mario 3d all-stars which I'll probably talk about that in my next like regular pickups video that I do because I've still been picking up games on the cheap and some games that are new releases and stuff like that so yeah I'm excited to do more videos and hopefully I'll get them out sooner rather than later and yeah if you get a chance even though it's super expensive on eBay already, try to pick up one of these. If you're a fan of Darius or just arcade shoot 'em ups in general, or you're just like super curious about like, say you're a PC engine fan and this, this Darius Alpha is just like the one you've been dying to play, um, you can still pick up just the copies like this, each individually or both together. I mean, I think that's worth it too. But I'm a sucker for all this collector's edition bullshit, so <laughs> I have to have it. I, don't, I, I just I needed to have it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And until the next one, see ya.